The Mandela Effect is a phenomenon that has sparked intrigue in recent years, mainly thanks to the internet. The phrase was originally coined by paranormal expert Fiona Broom back in 2010. Broom recalled Nelson Mandela's passing, complete with detailed footage of his funeral, as happening during his stint in prison in the 1980s. But in fact, Nelson Mandela actually died in December of 2013. This term is now used to describe things that are somehow different to the way people remember them. And you can find a host of well-publicized Mandela effects. These range from popular movie scenes and song lyrics to favorite brands of snack foods and company logos. You can take a look at some of the more frequently documented examples in the previous video we've done. There are essentially two schools of thought when it comes to Mandela effect. Firstly, the one psychological experts and skeptics favor, that the Mandela effect is nothing more than collective false memories. But even if that were the case, it's hard to explain how can so many people be wrong. Then there is the alternate theory that we are looking at today that suggests we live in a virtual reality. And similar to the movie The Matrix, the world around us is just an illusion. In the movie, it shows that humans are actually slaves to machines, functioning as their subordinate energy source. The experiences we have are not our own. They are the result of a computer simulated reality controlled by a higher intelligence. Now we all know the Matrix is not real and is just a work of science fiction. However, you will know if you watched our previous video on space mysteries, that there is some compelling evidence to suggest that we do live inside a simulation. While this hypothesis is the source of much debate, it did spark the attention of others with an active interest in the subject. And in 2016, it was reported that two unnamed billionaires have actually employed a team of scientists to help them figure out if they could escape from any existing simulation. Then there is the multiverse theory that outlines the idea that there are possibly an infinite number of realities or parallel dimensions, which theoretically we may be able to switch between. But here's where a computer simulated reality could differ from this. According to theoretical physicist, Dr. Brian Greene, real universes do not have glitches. Computers on the other hand, can and do. The ironic thing is that with a simulation so advanced, it would be difficult for the beings operating it to prove that they were in fact part of a simulation. If you are slightly confused by all of that, then here we'll look at five examples of the Mandela effect that could be glitches in the fabric of our existence and that many belief suggests that we live in a virtual reality. Sit back and enjoy. The car was red. It could be argued that distant memories become blurry and inconsistent due to the passing of time. But what if objects began to change before our very eyes, seemingly with no reasonable explanation? Let's imagine that you awoke one day to find that your car was not the same color as you remembered it to be. For one individual in the US, this was the case. In early 2014, a young man anxiously searched for his prized red Camaro in the outside car park, fearing that it had been stolen. As his eyes scanned the area, they settled upon a Camaro, a white one. After closer inspection, he could see that his car had matching features to his own including minor scratches and indents. Bemused, he picked up his car keys and was astonished to find that indeed, they unlocked his car and worked in the ignition. Assuming this was a prank, he scrambled to find his phone to call a friend and try to shed light on his confusion. To his astonishment, his friend told him that his car had always been white. As his friend's reception was a little clipped, he believed that he was the subject of a windup and hurriedly ended the call. The young man, not ready to believe what his eyes were telling him, desperately searched for a glimpse of his red car. His endeavor proved fruitless. Desperate to know what was going on, he searched his photo library and there pictured several times was him standing next to a white 1996 Camaro. Even the car's citation read white next to its color description. Shockingly, the man claims his motive for buying the car in the first place was its striking color, red. Is it possible to totally misremember the color of a vehicle that you drive daily, one that you choose purposefully, or could this be an anomaly in the system? The childhood nurse that never existed. Some years ago, a woman from Austin, Texas was pleased to discover that she was expecting a child. 
In search of an OB, she spoke with her mother, also living in Austin, who suggested that she visit her gynecologist from years previous. The mother and daughter proceeded to recall memories of their visits to this trusted family doctor. In particular, the daughter remembering a long-standing nurse who worked on the fifth floor of the downtown Austin hospital, where the OB medic was based. Her name was Allison, and she was affectionately called Allison Wonderland because of her sweet disposition and natural ability with children. The Austin woman could remember in detail the reception area, which was decorated colorfully with a forest theme. She states that Allison took care of her as a child during her mother's appointments. They read books and colored pictures together. The woman searched for her mother's old OB in the directory, but to no avail. To make things simpler, she decided to inquire in person by paying a visit to the hospital with her mother. Before long, the mother and daughter duo encountered a problem. There was no fifth floor, only a fourth. Figuring they had misremembered and that the doctor's office was simply located on the top floor, they investigated further with hospital staff, only to find that no such doctor or nurse had ever worked on the premises. According to the woman, only her and her mother recall the mysterious doctor on the fifth floor and his assistant, Allison. Could it be that the family have distorted nostalgic memories of the hospital building, along with the doctor and nurse in question? Alternatively, did an entire floor disappear along with the existence of two individuals? What are your thoughts? Twins from other mothers. In the autumn of 2015, 32-year-old Neil Douglas boarded his Ryanair flight which was en route to Shannon Airport in County Clare. However, his seat was already occupied by a seemingly total stranger. To Douglas's surprise, the man in his seat bore an uncanny resemblance to his own reflection. Robert Sterling, who was 35, had apparently swapped his seat to accommodate a couple nearby. The two gentlemen couldn't get over their likeliness, having similar smiles, hairstyles, and beards. They were also both sporting a black top. After the initial shock subsided, the pair began to see the funny side and dubbed themselves twins from other mothers. In another bizarre twist of fate, they found that they were booked into the same hotel. Naturally, after landing, they decided to share a pint together and laugh about the whole encounter. After Douglas posted a photo on Twitter, it went viral and people were stricken with disbelief, not only because of how similar the two men appeared, but by the story itself and how these men ended up crossing paths. Do you consider this to be a chance encounter, nothing more than a string of coincidences? Or is this just too weird to explain with logic? Doppelgangers. Perhaps even more eerie is the story of Amanda Fisher and Meredith Pond. When in 2015, a friend told Fisher about a girl on Instagram who could be her twin, curiosity got the better of her. Having no luck on Instagram, Fisher, who is 23 and from Texas, decided to trace her double via a different app. Eventually, she was discovered to be Meredith Pond, who was 22 and from Indiana. According to Fisher, she found her Facebook page and the two are now in regular contact. They have reportedly exchanged many photographs, some as far back as their childhood. The photographs which they have shared have been labeled as a hoax by many. It's been speculated that the photographs are of the same woman as the supposed individuals are just too alike for there to be any truth to the tale. They appear to be identical twins, yet allegedly they are unrelated. As an added observation, even their names Fisher and Pond are strangely connected. Are these women doppelgangers, or is this merely deception fueled by social media? Or is it possible that there are copies of each of us, people that are similar but not quite the same? It's almost as if there are four-dimensional, edited versions of ourselves, walking around if we care to look, or happen to bump into them. What do you think? Brexit and Trump In 2016, many residents of both the UK and the USA were left dumbfounded by major political events. The UK voted to leave the European Union, known unofficially as Brexit. The decision caused a shockwave throughout the nation, Six months prior, across the pond in the USA, Donald Trump was elected as president. To be clear, this story is not intended to dissect anyone's political or moral views or past judgment. Your opinions are your own, but it's important to note that in the months and weeks leading up to each event, both were regarded as inconceivable. 
These outcomes were considered so far off the chart that people have questioned, do they imply that we are living in a computer simulated world? It's been suggested that Brexit and Trump could be calculated experiments conducted by political scientists under the guise of a controlled computer program. This could be a way to gather data to find out how and if Britain can thrive outside of the EU, and if America can triumph despite having a controversial person governing the country. On the other hand, this may seem incredibly far-fetched. We know that artificial intelligence is processing on a larger scale. It's said that the EU is already in the process of submitting proposals for sentient AI persons. We are also surrounded by technological advances, including the internet and electronic devices that allow you to watch this very video, and to think just 20 years ago that was inconceivable. So to finish off, do you think that we live in a simulated reality? I'd love to hear your thoughts on this, and if you have any examples of the Mandela Effect, or examples that may suggest we live in a simulated reality or parallel universe, then I'd love to hear them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.